Oh, you see how I got this bitch? Ooh, you are daddy. Stop the cap. It's like 6.44 in the morning. In the process, I'm in the process of deepening the bond that I have with myself. Like it's, I'm being very intentional about my relationship with myself and building this bond that I have with myself I'm realizing how much of an influence other people have been in some of the the thoughts that I've been thinking growing up or like even in my adult life like I don't have to hold on to these thoughts because they were told to me by someone who was dealing with their own shit and did not know how to deal with their shit so they threw it at me i don't need to hold these thoughts i don't need to contain these thoughts i could literally free myself from these thoughts because they aren't mine these beliefs aren't mine i was told that i was stupid i was told that i didn't mean i wasn't gonna do much or make much or have enough to to, to live out my dreams i was told i was told so many things and there were times I believed it and it had a lot to do with um, me taking a long time to like, even though I still kept moving in this direction um, because I know this is what I came here to do. I came here to be of service. I came here to speak. I came here to share my story, right? I knew that, but in, in doing that, I always had this anxiety because I was holding on to this fucking whack-ass belief that I wasn't shit. Like, and as i'm i've been releasing these things these false beliefs i'm recognizing how free it feels so free to just say oh i'm not gonna wait for people to tell me who i am i've been doing that all my life i'm gonna show you who i am and i'm gonna show you you know why i'm gonna show you because you don't know me i'm gonna tell like you watching me right now you feel me not you i mean like you know you watching me too Brazil. <laughs> But no, I hope you guys understand, like, this shit is such a beautiful experience. God will provide. So you believe in the power of manifestation? Do you, what is manifestation? <laughs> Say hi to my YouTube friends, mom. They're on my camera. Say hi. Hi. Reconciliation here. So, I'm having a moment. <laughs> when do I not have moments? I'm looking for. There it goes. That's why it's always good to just have your stuff prepared for you. I think I'm going to organize the space a little bit better. Make it my own. Make my office my office. But yeah. Look at this view. Things really do be happening for us. And in the midst of it happening, we just be complaining because we, we are, we're so used to like the control and we're, we're so used to like knowing what's coming next or like we want to have the idea of what's coming next. But most times it'd be better off that we just don't know because it's like it takes the fun out of the situation. <laughs> and I'm talking, I'm talking based off of experience because I am the one that will go searching. I, I do believe there are certain things that spirit just does not allow me to see. Was that a butterfly just now? <laughs> Confirmation. <laughs> Dad. Dad, say hi to my YouTube. Hi. Hi. Dad, I want you and mommy to come on my YouTube channel one day. Why? Keep it straight. Life is crazy. Life is what you're making. Going in uncharted water, then. What? You're going in uncharted water. I'm going into uncharted water. That, let me tell you something. It's an adventure. I want to say I lived my life. Okay? I'm just saying that. But you, but guess what? I always go in uncharted waters. Every every step of the way. I always went in uncharted waters and I look what I got. Damn. 
particular self, man. You have to believe in yourself. You don't have a particular self. That's what I was saying earlier. Look at me you going back to my work. Just live. Where you believe yourself from? If you don't believe in that evil and none. You're right. You're right. This is why. This is why you need to like talk to your parents. You know, cause we 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 be beefing sometimes. No, no, no we be beefing. We be beefing. We beefing sometimes. <laughs> Candace, we're gonna have the best. First of all, you want me to call you Yaima or. Yeah, call me Yaima. Yeah. I like Yaima. Yaima? Yeah. What? Yaima. <laughs> You know what I be doing? I be like, yang. I like, because my, my Pisces Mercury. Yeah. My Pisces yeah. Mercury, I talk like this. I talk like this. I don't talk like. And it, it, I don't it think means, it's that. Like, I be thinking it's movement. It's so, fun, it's so funny you said that because it means water can do it. So it does. Oh yeah. my God. I be. I be it has things, a lot to do with the subconscious mind. So I be taking things like words like that. Girl, that's a superpower. It just translated. Yeah, what? Mm hmm. Yeah, Telling your name, who you're, where you're from, what's your number, what's your email address? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn. Wait, what? Wait, what's, your, what's the last thing you said? Let's go on here. It's I'm better lighting. I'm a siren. Mmm, you're a siren. I'm a siren. Oh my God, you're fiery. You no, know, she really is. I never life is before. life is great, man. We just figure out some shit. So sis is making a smoothie. <laughs> Every week with Candace, it's a, it's a show. <laughs> like, it's a show. It's, what, it's a like, magic what, show, right? What is it? What's going on with us? Like, like I really want to act in the heavens. Did we make a deal in the past life? To meet each other? I, we yeah. had to. I think so. I told you I saw you in my dreams, too. You know? oh my God. Oh. Being magical. Being magical. Because that's who I am at my core. Why am I talking like that? <laughs> Why are you talking like that? I have a different mask I have on now. <laughs> I love that. Is, did you just find that like, out? Yeah, I just found that out. Like, wow, I'm wearing another mask. And that's okay. It's having fun. Oh. In this meat suit. This avatar. I'm having fun. I'm going to find someone who wants to have fun with me. Oh, that's the fact. Ooh, I'm say that, that one, one more time myself. here. Say that one more time. <laughs> now I gotta find someone else that would like to have fun with me. Yeah. Yeah, I like that talk. I like that talk. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, facts, I, I do. But I'm talking about like an intimate, you know, someone no. to get freaky with. Someone, but that's the thing. Oh my God, girl, girl. Shit. I had to be real with myself the other day, Shandy. I was like, no, like, that's Candace, you, you ready. Like, you, you ready for some partnership. Like, that's and I love that you know that you're ready. Yeah, and why are you hiding it? Why are you acting There's like There's no need to hide you it. Yeah. Don't care for a partnership. Right. Like, you know how to fool your own cup. You whole sis. Like, I'm on the flounce. Facts. Yes, I do it to my friends too, but like, come but on. you want to feel that dick? I want to feel, yeah. <laughs> you want to feel that dick? Yeah, you annoying. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm a comedian too. You have to remember that. I'm a natural comedian. <laughs> well, I can't lie. Yeah, I do it with this shit. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. But nah, honestly though, no, honestly though, I'm, no, I'm some real shit. I honestly do agree with you 100%. Like, I feel like we don't even have to like explain to people when we're ready or not. Like, as long as you feel ready That's for partnership. It. You're ready for partnership yes. and you could like share that with yes. whoever. Like it's okay like to just be like I'm posting about black love today, even if I broke up with my ex three oh months my ago. Gosh, thank you, Shandy. Cause yesterday even though I, I broke up with my ex three months ago, I'm the fuck, I still believe in love. The fuck? Like oh yo. I, some, I saw like a couple of posts yesterday about like black love and you know, just love period. Mm -hmm. And I was gonna post it on my story. I'm like, no, like I don't want nobody thinking that like yeah. I care for this, like I'm independent. And I'm like, what the fuck? Where does that come from? Like, Her. yes, you're independent, 
But so what if you you didn't come here to be alone? If if it was like that, then I would have been the only one here. <laughs> I didn't come here to be alone. And the fact that it makes me smile when I see those posts means that I desire it. That's something that I would want for myself. And like I said, I know how to create that for myself. So why not share that with another being? Right. It's not like I, I want another partner to, to just drain their energy and, and shower me with love. Shower me, shower, shower me with love, you know. I right. want to give that love. It took for you to like go through some things to actually learn that. Yeah, yeah. It took <laughs> you like taking those risks. Like love really is always shame worth of a love risk. Like, what? Uh, I might shame that's why I don't mind sharecase like showcasing my um relationships. Like I know it may look like oh she probably never could keep a man, but no, <laughs> like I actually know <laughs> the the boys come to my pum pum, but it's just that. <laughs> This pump pump come with growth and elevation. And if you're not on your yeah. shit, then I don't want you. Yeah. Right now. But please come back if you with your shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really loving the life that I live right now. I love being in love with myself. Being in love with my friend. Mm -hmm. And having a great fucking mm -hmm. fucking time with life. Because mm -hmm. that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Having fun. I know by the title, you're probably like, what the hell? happened well <laughs> it went a little bit like this <laughs> i talked about being just like over over it with my supervisor and about repeating cycles and i was definitely shown that yeah this was a cycle that i needed to like walk away from and the only way that i could regain my strength to even keep going it further in life like it got to that point it got to the point where my health was getting in the way and i said no <laughs> so the only way for me to to prosper to continue down the direction that i know it's calling me I had to walk away without having nothing planned nothing like I have my business I have YouTube but to be quite frank and honest it's not it's not giving me anything as far as uh, material wealth at this moment not right now I mean I know what it's capable of doing but I'm also very, very logical and I also don't do this for the money i do this because i love it so it's like i'm okay with doing this shit just because so i'm not gonna use this as like i mean hopefully one day i would love for it to be a full-time thing but i'm not depending on it right now to be a full-time thing is basically what i'm trying to say so my task i did not want to i did not want to leave I did not want to leave this job unless I had something lined up. So it was very frustrating for me to like walk away, but I knew it was a choice. I, I just remember I, I was crying way too much because of this job, stressed out. And it wasn't even a necessarily like, it wasn't more so the workload because it was something that, although it was a new position that I was I'd never been in before, I knew I was capable. I knew what I was capable of, but when your body just stopped going in that into the direct mm, when your body just stopped going in the direction of where you feel like it should go and it's just like no, I don't want to when your body doesn't want to do something anymore, it just doesn't want to do. Like the smallest task I found it hard to do, like the simple task like fucking <laughs> Hold on. Like fucking checking in and saying hi to the to the crew. Like I could not bring myself to be fake. I don't want to say hi to y'all. It was like that. It was on some shit like that. And realizing that and then realizing that it was fucking with my health. Like I take my health serious. Like my mental health especially. I need to do more work with my physical health. But my mental health, I don't play about that because it's honestly it's all i got <laughs> yeah so i thought about it 
I think it was during the time when I it was a day that I was just frustrated with like my whole entire life I was I was just like dealing with something in my romantic life that I also had to walk so basically I walked away from I walked away from a relationship and I walked away from my job the same day like yeah imagine just like two of the most important things to you just leaving just like departing from your life like it's just over it was a tough battle it was a tough hit but as far as the we could get into the relationship thing down the line because i'm not really it, it 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 was something that needed to happen basically but um like anytime i start crying and having crying spells it's literally my body telling me we don't want to do this anymore choose a different route choose a different route and it was a big step for me to not have nothing lined up knowing that I am in a place where I have to provide for myself. Like I'm depending on me to provide and having to do some kind of risky shit like that. It was a lot for me to, to do. But I'm happy I did it because doing that really, it was as difficult as it was walking away from both those things at the same time made me it cleared the it cleared more for me than it than they did it did more for me than they did being there like i just was so distraught and tired and drained and hurt and getting sick and feeling frustrated with having these two energies in my life i had to like clear space i had to clear space and I feel so much better I feel like you know it's it's I'm still still have a bit um I'm still trying to get in the flow of this new path I literally just like it felt as if I was in a whole new role like a movie like a whole new scene with a whole new role just like different like I'm just doing different shit now like I feel like God just like like I'm sitting in a chair and like my whole scenery just changed like swept off a rug type feeling like completely just stripped of anything that means stability outside myself and now I'm just like what's the plan Shandy <laughs> and honestly by the time I um post this video I probably I'm most likely will have come up with a plan because that's my nature i'm probably i most likely have already discovered that i got a new position somewhere I took the leap of faith by leaving the job and in order to like go into something else no it's not gonna be the same thing i'm looking for more more something that could provide me and help me make this reality a thing for me like make what my what i want my reality to be a reality i realize my control i realize my power and how much of a control i have over my life and my situation and my choices and and why should i give that to anybody you know why should i leave it in somebody's hands to see to say to myself like wow you're in charge of whether i'm happy or not or you're in charge of whether I provide for myself or not. So yes, I'm going to work my ass off and do this YouTube thing. Eventually, this is going to be a full-time thing for me. Not only YouTube, but just like I do readings. I've opened up more to that side of my life, my spirituality. I'm connecting more with my spirit guides. I'm allowing shit to just flow. As scary as it is, it is so scary. It is so scary because it's new and it's like uncertain and especially at an age that i am now i'm about to turn 29 in a few days and it's all about i'm all about providing myself with stability and just like giving myself that life that i've always dreamed of having like it's really about me right now like it's like i have no children i have no man i have no <laughs> i don't have a job right now but i have a career that's that, that i'm building that i'm working on day by day i have me thank god i'm in great health to just like at this moment in this time like 
I overcame the toughest emotions and the toughest energies I've ever faced. Like I overcame that shit and I'm able to sit here and tell my story and give you guys the bits and pieces because it's really not like you like there is a lot spiritually what I experienced what I felt I'm still trying to get more information and I believe I will so eventually I'll put you guys on to more as I find out more as far as the bigger picture like i see the bigger picture but as far as a lesson that i received i'm i still feel like i am learning a lesson but i'm literally going towards the finish line i see myself walking to the finish line and it's a blessing to be able to witness yourself as you're going through your transformation and witness yourself as you're evolving and stepping into your 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 light and your power it's a blessing to say i'm so happy that it it wasn't rushed and here's why like and i'm talking as if i already got where, I, where i'm going because i know where i'm going i know where I'm, i know like i know i got there already it's just like i'm aligning myself with that right now so i'm all about momentum i'm all about momentum building and honestly speaking had i have like reached a certain success that I always wanted to reach before I became aware of certain shit like mentally physically it's 